So let's talk about our player class. And I went over this pretty good detail last episode. Um, so I'm going to go over this briefly again. The first thing we're going to do is create our X collision rectangle and our Y collision rectangle. And um, we'll need functions to create our left, right, top, and bottom rectangles based on deltas. And this will just be make it easier on us functions. So private, think private member functions, member methods. <clears throat> and then for each axis, we're going to update the velocity, then calculate our delta, and then check the collision in the direction of delta, and then we're going to react to the collision, and then we're going to check the collision in the other direction, and then we'll update the position. And I named these differently on purpose because when we're um, reacting to a collision that we're in the direction we're moving, usually there's something extra that happens, like our velocity gets bumped down to zero, or um, you know we have like the head particle effect where like your head gets bopped. Um, yeah, so there's a couple different ways to react to collisions. Anyway, oh, before I get into doing any of this though. I want to actually pass in our map to our player update method so that we can have it when we, so I'll open up player.h, um, look at our update method, and I'm going to pass in a map. And so this is we can, this way we can use our get colliding tiles. So const map map, um, and we can forward declare this struct map. And then in player CC, we're going to do the same kind of schnizzle that we all, always do. So pound include map.h. And what do we do with it? We put it in our update function. So const map with no name because it's an unused parameter. <clears throat> and in our game class, which, and here's where we barely touch our game class, we need to pass in our map to our player. And you will see, right here, it's giving us a red curly underline. And I'll pass in the map here, dereferencing it, because it is a pointer-like object. So let's build, make sure it works. It works, and we can see our not Christmas quote running around. Yay! Okay, so that's all good. Now we can go into the first step, which is to... Um, what am I doing? This first step, which is to create our X collision and our Y collision rectangle. How do I dock this? There we go. That was intuitive, actually. Um, create our X collision rectangle and our Y collision rectangle. I'm going to have to pull up the slides for that right now. So here's the photo. <coughs> here's the bitmap of the yellow collision box that I was looking at in the last episode. So if we can just remember these numbers. Um, our X collision rectangle is this yellow rectangle. It's going to be 6, 10, 20, 12. So 6X, 10 in the Y for the top, 20 in width, 12 in height. So 6, 10, 20, 12. And I will jump back into Visual Studio and create a rectangle with these values. And I'm just going to make this a constant rectangle um, just because I know where I'm going to use it. So going to be const rectangle, just because I know I'm only going to use it in the player CC file. Sorry, I said that funny. Um, 6, 10, 20, 12. So k okay, collision y, x, 6, 10, 20, 12. And we need a rectangle for collision y. And we need to include rectangle before we actually can construct it. That's why it's complaining. Rectangle .h. And how does it like it now? It likes it just fine now. 
Um, <clears throat> so for the Y rectangle, we are going to look at this image, which is this red rectangle's measurements, and it's 10 by 2 for position and 12 by 30 for width and height. So 10 to 12, 30. 10 to 12, 30. 10 to 12, 30. So let's see what's next in our slides. All right, so uh, we created our X collision rectangle and our Y collision rectangle. Now we need to have, uh, now we need to create our left, right, top, and bottom rectangles based on these two rectangles and based on a delta and based on our x and y position. So it's just going to calculate all, do all these mundane calculations for us. So I'm going to exit out of these two because we don't need them anymore. Again, those are from the last episode. If you haven't watched that episode, you should go take a look at it now because I think it's pretty good. It's all right. It's not bad. It's not horrible. I don't hate it. Um, private. Yeah, so these are going to be private helper methods. I'll put them just below get sprite state. And I'll actually define them inside of our CC file and just declare them here because they're kind of big. So const, um, no, rectangle bottom collision. And it's going to take in a delta. And it's going to be const. So that's one. We need to do three more. One for top. And one for left. And one for right. And I'm actually going to reorganize the top two because this doesn't make sense. And we'll do x before we do y because that also makes more sense. And I'm going to CD like that. Okay, sweet. So now that these are returning rectangles, we actually need to pound include rectangle up here, I believe. Pound include the rectangle. Yeah, we do, because how else do other... Yeah, we do. Left collision. So now we can implement these one at a time, taking our time because these are kind of complicated. Um, just because they involve three different things, we're adding three different um, bits of information together to make it a rectangle. So I'll start with the uh, left collision rectangle. So we'll scope this in as player. Okay, so let's start with making a left rectangle. And since our left, since this is a X collision rectangle, this involves the X collision rectangle, we'll be using our X collision rectangle. So, uh, let's return a rectangle. And its X is going to be at our X plus the X of our collision X rectangle. So, plus its left. Okay, next we have the right side. No, next we have the Y, which is going to be our Y plus our K collision X dot top. Okay, so what's next? Next we have our width, which is going to be our K collision X dot width. Easy. And then our height, which is K collision y x dot height c okay so now we're not we're not actually going to use this because this is the full k collision x rectangle just moved over to x and y so we only want half of it um well how are we going to do that well since it's at the left side we just have to lob off the right half of it so we're just going to do divided by two all right so now we need to include our delta into things too. So where is our delta going to go? So if we're having a left collision and we have a delta, that means our delta is negative. And we're actually going to put an assert in here just to make sure that we really know that our delta is negative. 
delta is less than or equal to zero. We can have a left collision if delta is equal to zero or negative. So I'm just going to put an assertion there. Is it happy with that? Seems to be happy with that. I don't know if I need to include anything. Um, I'm going to just build to see if I need to include anything for a cert. Apparently not. Okay, cool. That's nice. Normally, I would have to include a cert, pound include a cert up here, but I think Windows has some library stuff built in. So that's all nice, I guess. Um, right, so we're still not done yet. Um, so now we need to include delta into everything. So delta is going to affect our position because if we extend out to the left, we extend out by delta. So we add delta to our x position. But we also need to increase our width by delta. And, and in order to increase our width, if delta is less than or equal to zero, we need to subtract delta. So we could also add the standard absolute value of delta, but I'm not going to do that because this is more easy to read. Okay, now we're done with our left collision rectangle. So let's create our right collision rectangle. This will be a little bit simpler than our left collision rectangle. I think, at least in my mind, it's simpler. Just because we don't have to shift over by delta for our x position. All right, so for this, we can assert that delta is greater than or equal to 0. Now we can return a rectangle. And this rectangle is going to have a position based on the x collision rectangle. So we'll do x plus k collision x dot left, which remember is just the x value of our collision x. Then we'll do y plus k collision x dot top. Width is going to be k collision x dot width and then k collision x dot height. Okay, now let's um, account for us only using that the right half of things. So where are we going to be for our position? Our position is going to be halfway across. So it'll be at our x position plus half of the width of our collision rectangle. So plus k collision x dot width divided by 2. And again, our width will be k collision x dot width divided by 2. Now we include our delta into things. So we don't move x by delta anymore just because as we extend, our delta is extending out to the right. So we just add delta to the width. And remember, we're asserting that delta is greater than or equal to 0. So we can just add it to the width. All right, so I'm not going to spend as much time on the top and bottom just because the logic is identical to x and y, or to left and right. Um, so I'll just kind of implement these really quickly for sake of time. Um, player. I'm kind of spending a lot of time on collision detection just because a lot of people have trouble with collision detection and it needs a lot of time taken to understand and there's a lot of tricky cases in it. So I'm going to assert that our left collision is a lot like our left, our top collision. So I'll copy and paste that. So delta is again going to be less than or equal to zero because we're going up. So instead of k collision x, we're going to change this to y, k collision y. So all of these are k collision y. Um, instead of modifying the uh, <coughs> width, because we only want the top half, we want to modify our height. Divided by 2 plus minus delta. And 
instead of um, shifting our X, we want to shift our Y. And I'm also going to assert that our right collision is a lot like our bottom collision. What did you just do? Okay, thanks for that. Okay, so instead of adding the width divided by two to our left, we're going to add the, well, let's be, before I do that, hold on. I'm gonna change all these to K collision wise again so that we are using the correct rectangle. So k equals y, 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 y. Okay, and then instead of doing our width divided by two, adding our width divided by two, we'll be adding our height divided by two to our y. And instead of uh, width divided by two, plus delta, it's going to be height divided by two plus delta. Yeah. So I think this all looks good. Don't you? I hope so. Um, 